Okay, today I'm going to be demoing the new uh, version of the sandbox. It, um, this version enables the user to uh, create their own materials. So over here we have a bunch of user created materials. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, create a few in the uh, window. So right now I'm just clicking it with the mouse and creating some oil. I can create some. Um, I'm going to make it move in a few seconds. So I can also create some water up here. And now when I um, let all everything go, you can see the water acting realistically with the oil. Um, the oil will float and form bubbles. This version also includes an updated uh, density um, equation. Um, so it will be able to handle larger density ratios much more stably. Um, now I'm going to create s some of the... Um, this version also allows the user to set the viscosity of the liquid. So here I have a more gooey material. So I'm going to create a bit of this also. And I'm going to let it drop. Now this is a user created material um, though, so I'm going to create some, it's just kind of um, elastic, an elastic material. Um, so this one keeps its shape very well. Um, now this is another user created material, I'm just going to go ahead and create some kind of a really elastic uh, thing uh, so notice that all the liquids are interacting with each other in the single simulation so it's all very cohesive uh, this is the cornstarch the, the uh, simulator tries to uh, simulate uh, the normal uh, cornstarch and water mixture where uh, this is a non-Newtonian fluid and when it has a strong force applied to it, it does little but as time passes it's going to gradually melt away and now I'm going to create some uh, jello so, um, so this version of the sandbox you can basically see all the uh, this one it focuses mainly on uh, viscosity and elasticity so you can see as like some materials can be a lot more elastic than others. The jello will keep its shape unless it's like uh torn um it will it will fracture if it falls too hard. Uh but mostly it keeps its shape. Now I'm going to have um for the final part I'm going to um create a bunch of uh balls of jello and have them all interact. Um, notice that now in just one simulation you can have ev an infinite number of possibilities for the uh, different fluid properties they can all have uh, different densities and it's also much stabler than the previous version so that's all